Now is the time to soar even higher. The ultimate play and earn MMORPG is finally here. Night Crows. Start an epic adventure with your friends. Defeat monsters and powerful bosses, conquer treacherous dungeons, and dominate grand scale inter server PvP battles with your guild to obtain items that you can exchange for real life rewards. And this is what I love about play and earn games. You guys can enjoy the game and earn from it as well. But there's something else that sets this game apart. Nightcross is WeMade's newest cross-platform blockchain-based MMORPG, which has hundreds of thousands of concurrent players playing daily. Nightcross World is set in the 13th century Europe, where magic exists, and it is brought to life by Unreal Engine 5's cutting-edge graphics, which is why every corner of the game looks so realistic, delivering a highly immersive gaming experience. Here you can choose from four different initial classes, Warrior, Swordsman, Hunter, and Witch. And each of them have multiple advances depending on your preferred playstyle. For example, here in the Witch class, you can be a Professor if you guys want to play a DPS role. This can be advanced further into a Mage at level 45 and finally into an Archmage at level 55. But if you're bored and want to try a new class, no problem because you guys can actually switch to any class anytime. So if you guys want to adjust for your party and play as a tank, you guys can switch to a knight. And if you guys want to switch into a healer, you guys can change into a cleric. You name it. And this feature makes Nightcrow even more dynamic in terms of gameplay. So now guys, let's ask the most important question. How can you guys actually earn from Nightcrows? So here in the game, you guys can actually obtain items from monsters, dungeons, bosses, and other game content, and sell them in the exchange for Vidaya, or our diamonds in-game. Diamonds is the most important currency in-game as it is used to purchase items for character progression, from crafting, enhancing, and other items that can make your character stronger. However, if you guys want to earn from the game, you guys can use it to mint Pro tokens that you guys can swap into WeMix dollars and then into other cryptocurrencies that can give you guys real life rewards. And not only that, the game is also introducing six more materials that you guys can obtain in game and use them to mint into tokens, such as Morion, Gear, Promo, Tear, Feather, and Papyrus. For example, you guys can actually farm Morion in this dungeon called land of prosperity and you guys can use it to craft gears or exchange it for tokens to cash out in real life and since night crows is a play and earn game users can actually mint their characters as an nft that they can buy and sell to other players in the marketplace you can do this once your character reaches the level 50 and be at least in their second advancement and have 8,000 diamonds as a minting fee this is really interesting because the character that you have for hard for in grinding and leveling up will of course be tradable to other players through the technology of the blockchain and there's just so many opportunities to earn here in the game as it has incorporated multiple blockchain components and also trading is much easier as nitro supports three wallets and six chains so now that we've talked about the game i think it's time for us to log in let's go now that we have logged in let's go we can actually equip some mounts here in the game. For our mounts, there's actually bonus stats whenever you equip one that has additional speed. So right now, since we are a magic class, we're aiming for something that has empathy. So I'm just gonna equip this cool horse. Ta-da! Look at the details of all the houses and look at those castle-like towers. It just looks so cool, guys. So there's a bulletin board here. There's a glider station. So we can actually move from place to place using our gliders as well. And there's a bulletin board request station where we actually receive some quests to do daily. So we're going to start off right now to, of course, do a couple of quests. So let's travel to our quest area. So go to the place in Colony Raid. So this is a Grey Moss Colony um, task into which we actually have to kill a few monsters. And look at that! We're gliding towards that area and look how amazing the sky looks like. 
And now that we are here, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of my skills. So when I started this video, I told you guys that there are four base classes that you guys can start with, but there's also other classes that you guys can play. So for example, here in my class, you guys can start off as a witch and you guys can choose to either be a professor if you guys wanna do DPS or scholar if you guys wanna be a healer. Once you guys leveled up your witch, you guys can turn to a mage and then an archmage eventually once you guys hit level 55. Or if you guys wanna start off as a scholar, you guys can actually level up into a cleric and eventually into a saint cleric. So that's our current goal right now to level up into a archmage. But if you guys want to do range attack, you guys can choose to be a hunter. You guys can choose to be a phantom sniper that can deal ranged attacks from afar or a shadow assassin that ambushes with, of course, some stealth. If you guys want to play, of course, a swordsman, you guys can choose to either be a royal knight or a mad slayer. These are classes that I'm also very interested to try. So like I told you guys earlier, you guys can switch into different classes without any limit. And last but not the least, of course, you guys can choose to be a warrior. This class will advance into a grand general and eventually into a sin impaler. So these are all the classes that you guys can choose from. Four base classes and a total of eight classes. Currently, we're here in our quest area and I'm gonna show you guys off my current skills. So here we are, there's two tabs here, which is the active skills. So for the active skills, since this is also a mobile game, what I'm really interested in is you guys can actually set your skills on auto. So the second one is the passive skills. And if you guys wanna arrange your skills, all you have to do is to click this button. And from here, you can arrange all of the skills that you guys wanna place. So for example, I wanna put this as the first skill that we are going to cast. So I'm gonna put lightning strike on top and then firefall. Eventually, you guys can unlock more skills as you guys level up or change your classes to the higher tier progressions. But currently, since we're still just level 35, we've only unlocked quite a few of the skills. So I have placed normal attack to be casted while we're waiting for the cooldown time of our skills. So we're gonna cast that. And in order to put them on auto, all you have to do is simple. Just hit that auto button. And we're already casting some skills against this Goblin Shamans. So if you guys are waiting for your quests to finish, you guys can actually put it on low power mode, which is one of the things that I do while I'm working and playing at the same time, or just put it on autocast and you guys can see, look at that. Also, there's a lot of other skills that you guys can unlock using skill books. But for now, since we're really early on here in the game, this is what we have. But eventually, you guys will see the amazing animations with other skills. I also see that other classes have really interesting like skill animations that you guys can check out here in the game. Once we hit the next advancement, you guys can actually unlock the weapon proficiency skills. So it is here located at the right side. Weapon proficiency will be unlocked once we become a mage. So here we can see that there's quite a lot of skills that we can upgrade. And this is really exciting because you guys can customize your character. So in terms of the combat system, guys, this is really optimized for us mobile users. And it's perfect because you guys can put your skills on auto and just arrange your skill rotation. So now that I've shown you guys some tips, and of course leveling up and finish your quests let's head back into the village and I'll show you guys things that we can see here in our towns so here in the sundries we're gonna talk to Eileen to buy a few HP pots there's also areas here where you can buy our skill tone if ever you guys want to unlock new skills just head here and purchase these skill books so in terms of modes or quests that you guys need to do all you have to do is to head to the quest tab there are main quests that I recommend you guys doing as well as side quests and daily quests as well as of course specific dungeons that you guys can do with 
other players. These dungeons gives you guys special rewards that you guys can use to improve your character and at the same time also valuable to other players here in the game playing that they can also buy from you. The items that you guys get from various quests and from boss hunts and from dungeons, you guys can actually sell them into Vidayas. And from these, you guys can actually use these VDS to of course exchange them into our Crow token. So Crow token will be unlocked here in our account once we hit level 45, which I am not yet. So we're gonna grind there. And if you guys also want to buy new characters or sell your characters for another one, you guys can unlock the NFT tab, which will also be unlocked once you guys hit level. So one of the things I'm also looking forward to is of course a huge war that we call the Battlefront. A lot of us will be competing from all the crews all across the servers into a fierce battle in server groups. And here in this fierce competition that takes place, whoever defeats these powerful bosses or these boss monsters will be the ones to take control of these multiple shelters. So there will be different regions here like the Shelter of Unity, Shelter of Victory and Shelter of Belligerence, which we'll be fighting for. And of course, there will be multiple Terrans here in the map, and we'll be using our gliders to move and test these battles against these monsters. And what's really exciting about this is, of course, the awesome rewards that we will be getting from playing Battlefront. So with these intense battles that happen every day, it has so many cool rewards from, of course, purple rarity and, of course, gold rarities and of all these rewards. And one of the most important rewards that we can get here in the game is, of course, the Distinction Insignia. That will be a reward here in the Battlefront. The Distinction Insignia is important because because it is one of the main in-game currencies that we can obtain by defeating the monsters here in Battlefront and is obtainable by of course all the players from across the servers. We also have a very important distinction insignia rankings that of course will show up which crews are on top of the server. There are a lot more things to explore and look forward to here in the game. The boss hunts and of course the PvP aspects. Overall guys, Night Crows is such a beautiful game and it looks very promising both as a MMORPG game and of course as a blockchain based game. Whether you're someone who's looking for an MMORPG to play casually or competitively while earning at the same time or if you guys are a fan of play to earn blockchain games who wants to focus on earning tokens by playing, you guys should definitely check out Nightcrow. If you guys want to play the game, you guys can download it now over on the App Store and of course on the Play Store. And the PC client is also available on the official website. Thank you so much everyone for joining me for today's video. Looking forward to see you guys here in game in Nightcrow's.